After about 50 years ago, Clafts disappeared from Water Roads of Park and then moved to Royal National Park in Sydney. Lock Point's five women were initially introduced again, four men will follow initially, five women were reintroduced, four men say that separating gender to follow one expert is the key to surviving early. An expert says that separating sex is key to early survival, the Minister of Environment is first step to survive. The iconic Australian animal is believed to disappear from National Park after a major chemical spill on the Prince Highway in 1970s, but numbers may have already fallen. New South Gawler University, NSW National Parks, Wildlife Service and World Wildlife Fund brought a joint project to five women's packing rivers with a group of men next week. The plants were taken from South NSW and while waiting to be taken to their new homes, they were kept at Clarktica's shelter for purpose of Kuronga Zoo. Five women were reintroduced first. Rob Brewster from the World Wildlife Fund said that separating sex is the key to early survival. We put women week to 10 days before men go in, just to let these girls settle without a little more brave, little noisy men, said. Hopefully, these women have found this little niche in their new environments and they can settle together. Mr. Brewster has been working for several years to make the ecosystems of the national park, including to improve water quality and control pests such as foxes and cats. If the first reproduction was successful, Platypus said it would multiply. We just want to see if this platypus is alive. If they do it, then it is clear that reproduction the establishment of nests and new generations is a mid-term success. And beyond that, we want to see that this plateau has spread. Cameron Kerr from the Taronga Zoo says that the species is silent victims of climate change. Species are the emblem of the Taronga Zoo and is determined to ensure its development. Cameron Kerr, director of the Zoo Protection Association, said, Platypus is the silent victims of climate change, said. They are particularly sensitive to drought and environmental change under the surface, while their challenging behavior prevents them from the opinion. NSW Environmental Minister Penny Sharp said that displacement was a step to ensure that Platypus gets rid of a changing climate. The Plato took veterinary health checks and was equipped with transmitters so that they can be closely monitored in their new environments.